Miami-based mixed media artist Frank Heider started making painted, inflatable sculptures back in 2008 for a group show called Giants in the City. He has made about 12 of them since then, and one of them, named Janice, took a summer vacation that you can only dream of. I got the CEO, Frank Del Rio, from Norwegian Cruise Line to endorse my program, and the people in the entertainment division, especially Pat Higgins in Miami, were able to construct a journey for me that went from Istanbul all the way around the Mediterranean, down to Jerusalem, and around the coast of Europe to St. Petersburg, and the entire British Isles, Portugal, Spain, France, Greece, Turkey, an amazing journey. Inflatable sculptures find their roots in street art or parade art, and they have a kind of mobility factor built right into them. What I wanted to do was to take this sculpture and put it on the street, put it in different locations on the boat. We're traveling around on a billion dollar vessel with some very wealthy and very well-educated people, and they would walk onto a deck and suddenly encounter this form. They would come to a staircase and there it was on the top of the stairs. And many people had a very affectionate response to it and would want to have their photograph taken with it. They would want to touch it. Sometimes they even wanted to punch it like it was a punching bag, all of which I invited. Every time we could, we put it on the soil of the countries we were in. Downtown Seville, where I had a cousin. She took me right in front of the second largest cathedral in Europe. I went into every single store for three blocks until I got someone to allow me to plug my plug in. Ran a cord right up to the front gates of the cathedral and inflated it there and for two and a half hours interacted with people from all over the world. Until the police came and said, you don't have permits, you're not allowed to do this. So I deflated it a half an inch at a time. It took a half an hour while they watched me take it down. St. Petersburg, Russia, it was up for the day. Between the passport station and the ship, the border control said, you cannot bring that thing onto our soil again. So, and I went down to try to discuss it with the border police, and they got very, very upset with me. It looked like they might want to take me away someplace, and I had visions of a gulag somewhere in Siberia with uh, my name on it. Making Janice two-sided was not easy. I found a little company in Miami who made a lot of advertisement balloons, and they had technical skills that were really uh, way beyond anybody I'd worked with before. I asked the designers if they thought they could put the face on two sides. As soon as I saw it, I realized that I was creating a, a, an image that I had seen before in the history of art, a Janus image, which comes from the Romans, which was their two-headed god who could see forward and backwards, who could see what was going to happen happened and what had happened. Frank has long been concerned with America's racial divide, and he made the base colors of Janus black on one side and orange on the other to reflect this concern. People come in all colors, and everybody should be seen on an equal footing. We all stand on the same platform in life. So what I really want to do is make a comment about something that I see that's been extremely disturbing. People ranting and raving about the other. I've been friends with Frank for years, and he's a brilliant guy, but spelling is not one of his strong points. I was gonna point out that he screwed up the name of his sculpture, but in this case, it was intentional. I changed the spelling to Janice, I with an I, the way a contemporary woman might spell the name, because we live in the era of Bruce Jenner, an era when people have one gender assigned and want to change their gender. So I figured my sculpture should also acknowledge the ambiguity of gender as well. I asked Frank which side people preferred. Personally, he likes the darker side. But everybody likes this side because people think it looks like Shrek. <laughs> and I discovered that it's easier for people to relate to things that they think they already know than it is to look at something just for what it is.